Okay, so now that we have identified obstructions, we have an idea of how the roof layout uh, goes, now we can start to begin the design. So, you want to zoom in as close as possible and select this uh, image where, with the orange outline. So you want to start off by finding a roof line that is highly visible. The ridge is a good place to start. And then you want to get it as close as possible to the actual the actual image. So once you do that, uh, you're going to have some different options here. So this is a pretty good job. Uh, it's told us the orientation is 177. That's the azimuth. Um, it's asking us what the pitch is, so we have to determine that. Um, roof material, composition shingles. That's all we do work on. So if you see Spanish tile or blacktop or anything like that, then then we're not going to put panels on it. And we need to know how tall it is as well. So if we go back to the side view, we can see that this is a two-story house. So we want to pick that. And that's important because it's going to be, sometimes you'll have a one-story section right next to it. And sometimes the tree, uh, the, the height of the tree is relative. Uh, the amount of shading it's going to call cast is based on the height of the house and the height of the tree and its proximity. So we've gotten that, and now we just need to determine the pitch, which we'll get into in a little bit. But first things first, let's put the other, uh, actually, and take a step back. And once you have selected uh, the roof plane, you can go to this little section at the bottom with the sunglasses. And this will tell you the dimensions of the roof and the edge types. So what I want you to focus on is the edge types. Um, when you click on them, it shows you what it is and what you can change it to. So this has been isolated as a ridge and that is correct. Uh, a rake is the side of a roof. The eave is the very bottom of the roof. So this is the rake, and this is the ridge, and this is the eave. But not every roof has construction like this. So when it comes to hips and valleys, if we look over at our neighbor here, this is actually a hip roof. So this would be the ridge, this is a hip, and this is a hip, and these are the eaves. There's actually no rakes. Rake is another word for side. And valley would be an instance where the roof goes inward, and we'll have to get you an example of that. There's no, none of them available here. But this has all been properly identified. So we're good on that. The other thing that's important is this arrow. So think of it as if you were to drop a marble on this roof where this little ball is, the arrow points which way that marble would fall. So this would be incorrect. This would be incorrect. This is the correct way. It usually gets it right, but not always. So that's what the side side tool is for, the side view. This will give you an idea of which way it would roll. Um, we only put panels on south, east, or west facing roofs. So this roof plane here
Let's see. Once we do it, when we outline it, the arrow is pointing this way, which is correct, and it's this is now in blue because we don't want to use it for solar. You only want to use it for solar if this orientation is between 90 and 270. The best orientation you can get is 180, so this is 176, that's pretty good. But we wouldn't propose putting anything on this, so you actually don't need to outline that roof. But for a roof like this, you might put one on this, might outline this side and outline this side as well. You do all three of these and see which one. This might be 89 or it might be 91. This one would work or this one, probably not both.